Now, before we start building fancy patches, let's understand what a patcher is in FL Studio. I have two versions of patcher loaded here side by side. The one on the left is an instrument version of patcher, and the one on the right is an audio effect version of patcher. Now, they both look very similar, but in terms of how you use them, they do vary. Let's look at the audio effect version here. So, this patcher can be loaded on a mixer effect slot. It will take the audio signal from that mixer channel, which is represented by this from FL Studio icon. And then here we have the ability to create really complex audio effect chains and finally send that back to the mixer represented by the 2FL Studio icon here. I have a very simple example here with just one effect, but things can be as simple or as complex as you want here. So that's the audio effect patcher. The instrument patcher is a generator that lives on the channel rack. It receives MIDI information and outputs an audio signal. Just like any software instrument inside of FL Studio, the only difference is that you can create really complex chains of instruments and also process the audio from those chains. Just like the audio effects patcher on the right, before it's sent back to FL Studio. Now again, I have a very basic example here with just one instrument, but just like the audio effect patcher, this can be as complex as you want it to be. Now let's talk about the different types of signals represented by colored patch cables here in patcher. It's fairly straightforward. You can see up top here there are three signal types audio parameters and events represented by the three colors. You can hide each type of connection by just clicking here. Audio, as the name suggests, are audio signal patch cables. So in this example here, we have an audio signal cable. So the signal from FL keys connected to 2FL Studio is an audio connection. Events are MIDI signals. So in the instrument patcher here, MIDI data is received from FL Studio and then sent to the instrument here. Lastly, there's parameters, which is like events, but specifically generated within Patcher from the surface section. The surface section is where you can create control surfaces. So here we have one knob. This can generate some parameter data, which can then be routed to different locations in the map. So that's the parameter signal. Going to the audio effect Patcher, you can see it has audio data coming in from FL Studio, which goes through the effect and back to FL Studio. So this would be an audio signal from beginning to end. There is one parameter control, because in the surface section I have a slider generating that signal, which is going to the audio effect and controlling a specific aspect of it. Okay, so hopefully you have a better understanding of how this all works. It's quite simple for now, just the three types of signals, but manipulated in FL Studio. Alright, in the next tutorial, let's see how to create these two different types of patches.